I wanted you to, sh uh, I'm do redoing this video because I want to show you this monsterness with this spearhead shovel. Oh, yeah, is that good? It's that good. It's that good. It's that good. So, we got Robert and Jack uh, doing a little carpet removal, tax strip removal today in Sarasota, Florida. This house is a monster. It's a monster. I mean, it's a monster. Just look at this place. As you see, we've already kind of been going at it. This room is rough. They have put 67 nails in each piece of tack strip, yeah. but the rest is popping up like breeze. As you see, I'm getting them in full pieces. Full oh, pieces that's now. Niceness. That's when you know. So real so quick, you just have to hold it forward like that. Real quick, just check out the spearhead. Yes. Now give me, give me a visual. Are you where you need to be? The spearhead. You literally don't even know. Little strength. Just, mm. just get it started on this and just ah, ah. Come on, somebody. It just peels up. Uh. Just right where the nail starts. Just needs a little help, that's all. Come on now. All day, baby. All day. But. Easy money. See, it's a benefit when all your contractors, you know, know that you're already in the flooring trade. So then they call you for stuff like this because they don't want to deal with it. Uh -huh. They don't want to rip up tax shipping carpet. It'll take me and Robert maybe, if we don't fool around, two more ah. two hours we're out of here. All together labor, which we had to leave and go get some drinks and stuff, but what, three and a half hours? What they don't like, we love. Say it again. What they don't like, we love. Oh, one more time. What we don't like, I say you're not hearing it, coach. What they don't like, we love. I think I might put that slogan on the website. <laughs> what they don't like, we love it, baby. We love. All right, well, y'all have a good day. Uh, happy junk removal. <laughs> flooring rip up. If y'all have any questions, I do all. I've done all sorts of flooring rip up. 18 years. Uh, tile, hardwood, glued down, floating. It don't matter what it is. I've ripped it up. And uh, all sorts of demolition, kitchen rip outs, everything. So there's something to keep in mind. If y'all have any, any advice, man, just give me a holler. See ya.